wrong, but like it's this whole like multi-layered fold in mm. thing that's happening because I can hear Martyr in it, but I also hear Voivod in it. Mm. And then I learned that Voivod influenced you while you were getting into Martyr. So it's like this whole like yeah. multi-layered thing that's happening. That there's I'm, there's definitely Voivod in Martyr. Yes. And uh, and uh and more more than Martyr and Voivod. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. it's it's hard no, to but, tell, you know. But, but it, it is like <laughs> from it's like, my maybe, position it's really hard to tell. <laughs> maybe from like the hopeless hopes era is sure. more so uh it's more so Voivod esque not like overall but i'm just saying like the hints of it makes sense that that was the band that you went out as an 11 year old boy and bought that <laughs> tape dude you know it really is this seed that happened for you at a young age and then but it is it's obviously martyr is you but it you have those flares and then you you being in Voivod, it's just like this multi it's, interdimensional fucking thing that's going on. Yes, dude. yes. It's hard it, to explain, it's but it's surreal. Like you, can, you can feel what's going dude, on there. You know, I was watching this insane like thing, a Star Talk with like you know Neil deGrasse Tyson thing. It was like about like certain infinities being bigger than other infinities, <laughs> and dude. it was just like. I, the great. first time I heard Neil deGrasse Tyson say that, I'm like, wait, there's more than one infinity. But then I was just recently thinking about that because you brought it up and I'm like, infinity is infinity. So then that, that means there's an infinite amount of infinities. Uh, that's true. Yeah. How can it, how can one infinity be bigger than another infinity? Though? But well, seeing... are you, are you guys trying to calculate infinity? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, nice, yeah. dude. Nice, dude. So, I love that album too. Yeah, so the technical, the technical term used to compare set sizes is cardinality. Here we and go. so, um, yes, the 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 kinds of things that can have cardinalities they're called sets. And uh, an infinite set example is the natural numbers. That's zero, one, two, three, comma, comma. You know, whatever. And then another set is the real numbers, and that's all those numbers, including pi, all those ones with like decimal decimal numbers that go on forever or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you ask uh, what's the cardinality of the naturals and what's the cardinality of the reals, you get a different result. Um, mm -hmm. And our notion of size, like things bigger than and less than, like our intuitive notion, if it's like in terms of like physical reality, it doesn't really map onto the same notion of cardinality as used to compare infinities we do say that the cardinality of uh the reals is larger than the cardinality of the naturals but that's in another like math dimension so um you it doesn't necessarily mean that uh the two infinities of like are bigger or smaller in the the physical reality that we're thinking of it's like another uh another concept basically um I, so. Right, so, so everybody got that okay so moving on <laughs> yeah no i was gonna go off I was all the add, hologram i was gonna add some <laughs> other stunner shit to it which when you were saying one infinity well if you're saying one infinity that makes infinity finite you know so um you, right. well oh yeah so but you can just talk about like the natural numbers that's an infinite set well, you could take the number one and split it forever, and it never stops. Yeah. That's okay. The whole thing that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, basically, this stuff uh, got figured out in the late 19th century by a philosopher mathematician named Jörg Cantor, this German guy. And there's a good book that goes into it called Logic Comics. It's like a math comic book, basically. Well, that sounds sick. So that's where I would say to get started looking into it. Also, you could look at YouTube videos on Hilbert's Hotel. Just Google Hilbert's Hotel. It'll give you get you started. But. Hell yeah, dude. We're getting a dump tonight from the professor. <laughs> on, <dude>. And drums um, up. But, <laughs> but uh, Casey, I have told you about multiple infinities at your apartment before. I remember telling you well, about that one that's time. That's why I brought it up, bro. <laughs> there you go. Guitar. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. and uh, and 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 to make the guitar sounds like a, a human voice feel, so to speak. So when I sometimes I pick my notes with the vibrato, uh, the, the the bar, the tremolo bar, mm-hmm. instead of picking it. Oh. Okay. I just scoop the notes in with yeah. the, the with the tension of the string mm-hmm. just by scooping the notes and that feels really really smooth and it, there's a quality of liquid quality to it that I really like and it comes from Oldsworth as well I think that kind of vibe where I kind of try to float over the rhythm instead yeah. of being subdivided exactly yeah totally on the grid sometimes i do but because i it's the intention and the songs tell me suggest me to do it right but i really like to play uh in the crack of time so to speak (laughs) Uh, in the the crack of time dude (laughs) like make it making it more elastic uh right uh, yeah like dali's clocks you know yeah 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 or it's like singers and stuff and it's like yeah it comes a little off and it's like yes yeah, this is the yeah and no, i got you dude exactly it stretches yeah. Sing, some singers are really good at it yeah 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 so uh, yeah That's it's cool. a human no. voice quality the, the, the but, phrasing uh, i try to anyway. oh i love all this dude this is great dude and there's so many interpretation of time you know uh like there's an infinity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just about to say exactly, a, dude. dude. <laughs> b- between a, between a one rhythm and the next one, right? There's yeah. an infinity of space, and a drummer can play ahead of the beat, behind the beat, on the beat, mm-hmm. but give ten drummers different uh, tracks, and you have ten different feel. And right. I think you have to not fight with it, but you know, play with this feel that you have you, you, you it's a conversation you have with other musician and uh yeah you can right. play with it of course yeah yeah, yeah. it's very right. interesting to do we have a few songs maybe two songs that they're on the on new album with a big acceleration but slowly and uh, and it gets mm-hmm. crazier crazier it goes to a plateau and then it slow down we right. played with that and uh, we don't hear it much in metal but uh, some, yeah. from time to time, anyway. But uh, I really like that that elasticity possibility with with time, and uh, I think we can e- explore it more. Elasticity possibility dude, is another good dude idea. to play with the elasticity of time through music. So like you're yeah. you're manipulating the perception of time to the listener. If you <laughs> battle for <his> coffee, <laughs> no, for real, you you uh, you are manipulating somebody else's perception of time while listening to your music. You know, you can slow down time or speed it up for them through perception as they listen to your music. Yep, is that amazing? Ah, I love it, dude. <laughs> I love that. I, I really do love that. And, and I, I feel smarter now. Just a, <laughs> I feel like 0.01%. Well, music <laughs> is invisible. It, it's, a, it's, it's fucking sine waves, you know? It's, right. it's you really need cool. air, it's you, cool. you need vibration, and you need, you need a receptor and, and a transmitter. Yeah. You know, when you think about it, it's pretty... F- it's it's pretty amazing that we can forge it into a shape it into something you know from yeah. thin mm-hmm. air yeah. and, and 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 transmit it and it's received and appreciated or not but it amazes me it does dude. it's an inv- invisible architecture it's an invisible architecture oh, okay so are you into s- C- cinematics or somatics i think it's called somatics like sound waves like creating shapes like in nature it's like sand like it's turns yeah 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 geometric shape like based on the sound waves through sound yeah so like sound waves like create like geometric structures in nature it is it's 3d you know it's it's uh yeah it, there is shape to sound it,